today we're going to talk about cutworm caterpillars. As you can see, some of my corn got decapitated from cutworm caterpillars. Um, it's basically when the, uh, let me get my little piece out of here, here we go. So the uh, caterpillar wraps itself around the uh, corn and then it just starts chewing away till this just falls off and gets decapitated. And uh, I just take this and I just toss it in there because you can't really use it anymore. And um, since it is not fruit, you don't need to put more paper or anything like that on top to prevent fruit flies. You can just shove it on in there for your worm friends. And uh, this guy actually looks like he might make it because that happened a bit ago and it's already been uh, growing because they like to cut kind of close to the ground. Even this guy here, you can see he got a little bit munched on. Um, some of them were pretty bad, so I actually went through and um, shoved in some more corn kernels. And um, I'll probably end up pulling this guy out since this guy's already coming up and already looks so much better. This guy got decapitated all the way down to the bottom too and he's already coming back too. So I think that uh, these guys will end up being okay. The solution to the caterpillars is to... Um, come out at night and pick them off or in the morning I found two of them one at night one in the morning and also use BT um, so with BT I use just one of these tiny little sprayers pour some of the solution in there mix it with water I'm keeping this somewhat in the shade I should actually probably put it in the garden shed um, that way I can reapply uh, the Sun will kind of kill I think some of the bacteria in it that is harmful to the caterpillars um, so when they chew a little bit on here it'll kill them and uh, and so when I go ahead and spray these I go ahead and spray the rest of the garden also to um, prevent any caterpillars certain things that I will not spray would be the parsley the parsley is a host plant to um, a butterfly. I don't mind if this gets munched on. It grows nice and full. I'm not going to eat it all the way through. Um, so certain things you can avoid spraying. Um, of course, any flowers, just as good practice, I always try to avoid spraying any of the flowers too, but I will spray any of the green parts. Um, now, BT does not harm your worm friends. Uh, but it will harm the caterpillars. So even though it's called cutworm, it is a caterpillar. And uh, and then when you find them, just put them in your little bird offering bowl like I did. Or um, you can throw them over the fence for other birds if you've got woods. Um, or you can uh, feed them to chickens if you do have chickens. So these are looking a lot better. And again, hopefully I can prevent any more of the worms. Uh, well, caterpillars, I'm sorry, from uh, finding their way here. I, I think what drew them over here is the moth that, that they uh, pupate from um, is drawn to light. And I think that my little uh, solar lights attracted the moth, and then that's how um, they ended up in the flower bed. So these are nice, but also not so nice um, when it comes to those, uh, those moths. So I think I'll have to keep an eye out. Another thing, I've learned that you can't actually change the uh, battery on this real well. So um, I don't know that I'm pro pro these yet until they change the style and, and we'll see if I end up, if it ends up causing me to get more worms or not. Um, but the moths, of course, are drawn to light and I think that's what happened here. Anyway, BT is your friend apply it at night that way the sun's not just killing off the bacteria and um, spray it multiple times throughout the season actually several times throughout the season because it does get washed off so if there's a good solid rain come out the next day and go ahead and spray it you just want to keep applying it and it'll help with your um, other worms that like particularly corn as well there's other caterpillars like the hornworms that like uh, tomatoes so you want to play close attention to um, your tomatoes as well with making sure those are nicely sprayed okay that's what I have to tell you about cutworm caterpillars